everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all it's April empties time I hopefully this will be uploaded on time because last empties I was late I have quite a few products so we're just gonna get started so the first thing is a candle for Bath and Body Works and this is Marshmallow Fireside. As I've said in previous empties videos, we just burn what we have. <laughs> and this is a smoky marshmallow scent, very nice. It's one of our favorites in the house. And I wanna just go ahead and get this out of the way. I was so like for real um, Clarisonic. My Clarisonic has officially stopped working. I did my shower routine video saying, you know, this was the first one and mine is still going after all these years. And then it just, it just died y'all. I don't, I don't know. So I'm not too heartbroken about it because I mean, it's closed down. It, it was going to get to where you couldn't find stuff anyway. It had a good long run, and now it's time to say goodbye to my Clarisonic. All right, so I finished the OGX Hydrating Moisture Plus Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash Decadent Aroma. This is an absolute love. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it just... Ooh. It smells so good, y'all. Let me read. Hydrate your skin with a rich blend with shea butter, agave, and coconut oil. It leaves skin incredibly moisturized and lightly scented with notes of vanilla and a warm, decadent, frosted treat. That's what it smells like, vanilla buttercream frosting. It smells so good. But let me tell y'all, this doesn't linger on my skin. And I use a lot of body wash. I thoroughly enjoy in the shower, but if you're one that you want your body wash to linger, this does not. I mean, no, I was trying to think it did. I just don't, it doesn't linger, not at all. But would I repurchase this? Of course, because it's delicious. And I, I have another one, because Walmart, I did a pickup order and they gave me two of these, so I finished one. I think I'm finished for now using it because unless I get to craving something sweet in the shower, I'm more leaning towards now fresher scents. And to keep with that, I finished the Shea Soft and Smooth Softening Body Milk in the same scent, Decadent Aroma. This, you all, it smells wonderful. Is that a little drop? I might have to use that. Um, smells wonderful, but it does moisturize. Okay. I spray, this says you can spray and use it as an in-shower lotion, rinse it off, and then you can mist all over your skin and let air dry or pat dry with your towel. I use it both ways. Unless I use a ton of this, and I mean a ton, I would get a little moisture until I moisturize my body. Y'all, would I repurchase this again? If I saw this, I got this off Amazon for $10 because I was just so curious about it. I kept seeing other people mention it in their videos, but they were finding it at discounted stores for a really cheap price. So I paid $10 for this on Amazon. Would I pay that again? No way, Jose. If I saw this somewhere for three to $5, would I repurchase it just for the scent alone? Possibly if I also had the cream to this, cause I wanna get the cream that goes with the body wash. So as of right now, would I recommend this? If you found it for a very cheap price, if you were not look, if you were looking to have this scent and just enjoy it and give yourself a little hydration before you went on to your after shower routine, it's good for that. I can't see somebody even with unless you have oily skin and you're not into lotion, then maybe this would work for you. But if you have average normal to dry skin, 
this is not going to be enough hydration for you. It, it, I can't see it being for anybody. So, would I repurchase? Like I said, very at a very discounted price, just because of the scent. But for the, it's not a softening, hydrating, wonderful product. But the smell is nice. All right, I finished up another Vagisil Older Block. I use this on my underwear and spray my pants or whatever I'm wearing just for extra freshness. Yes, I will continue to repurchase this because I cannot find the one I love anymore. I think it's discontinued and it's just poof, gone. So this is what I will continue to use until I find something I like better. Okay, I finished the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Brown Sugar and Coconut Butter. Y'all, I did a whole video on these. Um, I will link it above if you want to see my review. This is one that's supposed to be the strongest exfoliation. I don't, I didn't get that, but like I said, I'm not going to go into much detail about this because I did a whole video on it. It smells really nice, brown sugar, coconut butter. It has a smooth coconut butter, somewhat sweet, warm scent. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I would because I enjoy Dove. Would I repurchase it now though? No. In the fall, maybe around that time I would because right now I am not interested in scents like this. Right next, oh, I have another candle in here. This is my favorite candle ever. This is Mercy Paris. Y'all, this is such a nice, light, perfume scented candle. I love this. When I first got it, let me tell you the notes creamy vanilla, rich black currant, soft jasmine. I would, could, at first, I had this in my bathroom. And I would just leave the top off and it would give a wonderful aroma. And then I would close it for a little while, open it back up because I didn't want to burn it. But I, if I've had this, I want to say over three years, maybe. So it was time to burn it. Well, I had burned it, but it was time to just go ahead and let it go. If you all know of another candle with these same notes but not this name, let me know down in the comments below because this is my favorite candle ever from Bath & Body Works as of right now. It's so feminine, elegant, soapy, perfume, sweet scent. Love this, love it. And I would love to have another one in my collection, which I really don't have much of a candle collection anyway. Okay, this is the In Shower body lotion from Nivea and cocoa butter. I have a whole video on this, on the shower lotions too. I will link that above. This scent is a light, fresh cocoa butter scent, not a warm, heavy one. I do like this. You have to use, a. I have to use a lot, but I think I found a way to make it work. I would you can't immediately put this on and rinse it off. I would rub it, just rub it really well into your skin and then kind of lightly rinse it off. Don't rinse it all off and then go on. That worked the best for me instead of just how I was using it before. And I figured that out after I filmed the video. So I do like this. I would repurchase it. Love the scent. Absolutely love the scent in this Nivea Cocoa Butter In Shower Body Lotion. Okay, this is Whipped Dream from Pink Cake Sprinkles and Vanilla Caramel. This was in my shower routine video. I will link that above. This smells like Apple Jacks to me. Some people said uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I can get that too. But I would use this to spray the shower in the morning. And you see that drop. Well, it's not a drop. If you can see that, this sprout thing that goes through this uh, straw, it doesn't reach all the way to the bottom of this fragrance. So I tried and tried and tried and I cannot get that drop out. Well, not drop, I can't get that out. And then I was like, maybe I could just unscrew it. I couldn't get it to unscrew, y'all. So it's empty, because I can't get it out. And that's not my fault. That's Victoria's Secret Pink's fault for their uh, not designing this to reach the bottom, okay? 
Oh, would I repurchase that? No, because I don't want to walk around smelling like it's cereal. That's why I was using it to spray my shower, which I did enjoy for that. It, it did wake me up in the morning because, like I said, it smelled like Apple Jacks to me. So, but no, I don't like it enough to repurchase that even at a semi-annual sale because, no, I'm just not. Cereal, I'm grown. So, I don't want to walk around smelling like cereal. Okay, next I have finished the Whip Vanilla Chiffon Body Cream. I did cut this. Um, it was a drop left in there. I think I'm pretty good at squeezing my products out of my tubes. So it wasn't as much left as I, as I have seen other people show, but it was a little bit left. So I did cut it and use it up. This scent has notes of wild vanilla bean, spun sugar, white peach blossom. I really do like this scent. It reminds me, it's like a, a floral, no, I would say a peachy vanilla with floral in the background and not strong peach, but enough to where it's not just a straight vanilla. I really like this when on my body. It smells better to me on me than smelling it from the bottle. I think I have a couple more of those. Maybe I'm mistaken. Nope, so that's one, two. I thought, oh, here we go. And three. So I finished up three of the two ounce body creams and that's because those body creams can turn quickly especially if they're sweet and they have vanilla so i bought those at the last semi-annual sale so i had them about a year and i was like you know what let's just go ahead and use those up because i also have a full-size lotion so that is done this is the candy pop glam mermaid dust dry shampoo this packaging is so pretty this scent is like cotton candy sweet I really did enjoy this scent, but I did not feel, with dry shampoo, I use dry shampoo, not because of oiliness, I use it to refresh my hair, the scent of my scalp. That's what I use it for. This didn't, didn't linger, this wasn't strong, I didn't smell this. So it smells great, but in my hair, I didn't smell it. It was like, poof, it was gone. So I don't, think I will repurchase this. I don't know. Maybe I'll say, oh, let me give it another try because I like the scent that has that does happen. But as of right now, I will not be repurchasing this. This is Garnier uh, Skin Active Water Rose Micellar Cleansing Water. This was my first time, I think, purchasing the rose one. And I did enjoy this. All of the Garnier Fructis uh, Micellar Waters, I really enjoy. They're really affordable and they do the job. So I don't know when I will repurchase this one or another one, but I know I will in the future. I also finished up another Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy Soothing Bath Treatment. This had 10 packets. I finished all of them. I was in Walmart recently. Actually, I went in the store, if you can believe it. And I saw the adult ones at my Walmart. So I don't know why they don't have those where you can pick them up. I already had purchased another baby one. But after I use that one, I'm going to go back to the adult. Because to me, it does work better for me um, as a bath treatment. So if for some reason I can't find the adult ones in store when it's time to uh repurchase then of course i will get these because these seem to be available all the time i also finished up the pink siren soap ocean extracts relax relaxing bath salts you all have seen these in a couple of my empties videos it's just a very fresh aquatic sea smell it's very relaxing to smell it in the bath water and i do like it and i think i have three or four more of these left because i found them i think for two dollars at uh, the Victoria's Secret outlet. So I'm enjoying them while I have them. And if I ever sell them again, I would repurchase for the same price. Okay, next we have uh, Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy 
Gentle Foamy Hand Soap in Stress Relief. This is Eucalyptus and Tea. I know it's probably looking rough on camera. I purchased this at the semi-annual sale. It's a nice, fresh, essential oil, eucalyptus scent. So I do like it. Um, if I saw it again at a semi-annual sale for I think a dollar and change is what I paid for this, I would of course get it again. Because I am not picky with my hand soaps. I just want them to be affordable and smell good. Okay, this is from Dry Bar. This is Liquid Glass Miracle Soothing Sillet. Lasts through three washes. So I use this. This is to help with frizz when I was flat ironing my hair. But let me tell y'all what happened. So I dropped this and it would just leak all the time. So uh, did I... Did I see, that bothered me for one. Um, did I see great results with this? When I remember to use this, I do think it helped with frizz. I think this is $30 or close to $30. I got it on sale, of course. I don't know, since I dropped it and I think I was just using it, using it. I don't think I was using it correctly. I think, I don't know. This is one I'm not sure about. We'll have to see if I, uh, I don't know. I felt like it did help. I don't know if it's for my hair type. Let me say that, because it says through three washes. When I'm flat out in my hair, I'm not washing my hair, but once every two weeks. So, I don't know if it's for me to help me the way I do my hair. So would I repurchase it right now? I'm leaning towards no, but we shall see. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to pull out the rest of the stuff from the bag. So, you know, I would have it sitting there digging, digging, digging. I did finish up the Sleep Black Chamomile um, Moisturizing Body Oil from Bath and Body Works. I got this during a semi-annual sale. For some reason, I am just in love with this scent. It's like a very light, very soft, like creamy, woody scent. I really like this. I think I have two or three more. If I saw this again, because I think they dis, I don't know if they discontinued the scent, but I know they discontinued this packaging, which I love, the rose gold and black. If I saw this again at a semi-annual sale, I would pick some more of these up because I enjoy using it on my body with my lotion and I enjoy using this in my bath water for my bubble baths. Okay, next I used up the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. And I got this in the gift set from the Winter Sephora VIB sale. This was, I really did enjoy this uh, shower gel. I think this on its own, I don't, I want it, I know it's over $20. No, I, I'm not paying over $20 for this because I have a shower gel from OGX that I think gives me the same scent quality as this one. Doesn't smell exactly the same, but it would pair well with the Sol de Janeiro line. If I saw this on sale, yes, I would purchase it. If I had a coupon and I was craving the scent, I would repurchase it. But just, this is the best shower gel ever. I must go get it right now. Definitely no. This would be, uh, it's in a gift set purchase or it's on a on sale purchase. That would be the only way I would get this. It's nice. It was... I wouldn't say extremely moisturizing, but it wasn't stripping. It's an average shower gel to me with a nice scent. So if you love the scent and you're willing to pay the price, go for it. I'm not willing to pay the price for the shower gel for this scent. Not full price. All right, I finished the, I don't know how to say this. This is from Drunk Elephant. The Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This was, I think, a uh, hundred points. I bought. I got. Well, I used my points at Sephora to get two of these. Y'all, I love this. This was so good. 
Clinique, uh, whatever it's called, their makeup removing balm, I would feel like that would always get stuck in my eyes and it would take a minute, some time for my eyes to feel back normal, not have that film over them after I would use the Clinique one. So I, that's why I was like, I'm not getting another one, no. But then I said, you know, Drunk Elephant, I, I wanted to try out the line, something from the brand, because I've heard so many good things about it. I love this, this is so good. Sometimes I don't even get a film. Most times I use this, I don't even get that weird film in my eyes. But sometimes you can use a little too much, but it, it would just go away quickly. It wouldn't linger and just annoy me like that Clinique one. So I would, purchase this because i didn't buy it yet i used my points somewhere down the line now, i don't need it now but we shall see if i don't find anything better and i want a makeup cleansing balm then yes i would give this one a go i'm not sure how much it costs but that's one that's on my radar because i did enjoy it Okay, hey, I finished the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protection Cream. This I got, I think, in a set during or as a sample for, for an order. I think I've had this for over a year. This is nice. Like I said, um, I use this nice scent. You know, if you've had anything from the Briogeo line, if they all smell alike. It's very nice salon quality smell to it i feel like it did help but it didn't blow my mind I, like i said this is probably close to 30 dollars too it didn't do enough for me to say i have i'm gonna go pay that price no i have a lot of hair these aren't big products you know big size products where you get a lot of product in them so it has to blow my mind for me to drop that amount of money on a product. And this didn't blow my mind. Like I said, on sale, no, this would have to be in a kit. I don't think it did enough from my memory that I would want to purchase this by itself. Not right now, it was nice. It did help with the frizz, but just not enough for me. Not enough to justify the price. Okay, I finished up this little sample from uh, Dior Dream Skin Care and Protect. I don't, this I think is 70 or 80 some dollars when I looked it up. Now, I don't know exactly what, if anything, that it did for my skin. It made my skin feel nice, but this is heavily fragranced, heavily. So it didn't, like I said, it, I didn't look in there and go, oh my goodness, look at me. So no, I'm not paying that money for this. But if anybody has smelled this and you know of a lotion or a fragrance to this or a perfume that smells like this, let me know in the comments because this is dreamy smelling. I'm talking, I would wear this as a perfume, like I said, it smells so good. But no, I'm not paying that because I didn't think, I don't know. It's supposed to be a skin perfecter. It was nice, but like I said, no. $80? No, I didn't, I didn't see anything that did. Okay, so I finished the Gail Heyman Delicious Mad About Mango Fragrance Mist. I... Showed this in my haul. This in my what video was that? In my fragrance miss top fragrance miss for spring video. I will have that linked above. This I even said this is a musky mango scent. It's not super sweet. It's not super sour. It's kind of in between. It's not one that I wanted to wear on my body. So I use this to spray my shower down and I did enjoy it for that. And would I repurchase this one? No, because I just, it, it doesn't wow me. It doesn't wow me. So the Mad About Mango was a nice shower mister, but I will not be repurchasing this. All right, I finished up my Supermodel 
perfume and fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret. This was in my project use it up video. I will link that above. And I said, oh y'all, I'm kind of tired of the scent. I wouldn't repurchase it. And now that I've used it and wore it and wore it, y'all, I really like it. But the thing is, the thing is, this perfume does not last. To me, it does not last. And I haven't had it so, so long where it should be the way it performs changes. Right ever since I've gotten this, I felt like the fragrance mist lasted longer than the perfume for this line. I don't get that. They smell exactly alike. Oh, it's just a woody, creamy, like floral, berry scent. I, it's so good. It does remind me of Hollywood Royal from Juicy Couture. And that's why I'm not, even though I really enjoy wearing these, um, together or just wearing this scent in general i'm not heartbroken because this is discontinued victoria's secret has to you know bring this back for a semi-annual sale or something because i do have like that huge bottle of that juicy couture so i'm not heartbroken but if i saw this again knowing me i would i don't know if i would get the the perfume because like i said it does not last on me but I might get the fragrance mist if I saw it again because I do still love this scent. And what's annoying, oh, sorry, is that I started loving the scent when it got discontinued, of course. Okay, I only have four more things to show and the, well, this one isn't, so let me show this. This is Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. This is one that came in that, discovery set i did a whole video on that i'll link that above too i want i was using this to see if i wanted to purchase this for from the sephora vib spring sale and it did make the cut i'm just gonna tell you now because i just couldn't decide and there was other killing fragrances i wanted more so for number one, this name doesn't fit this this fragrance. When you when I say good girl gone bad, I'm thinking mysterious, you know, look sexy, alluring, you know, like maybe a tad unisex, masculine, you know, edgy. This is not edgy at all. This is a very floral, heavy floral fragrance. Now, it sweetens up to a light floral green fragrance. At first, though, it's very floral. It, it's not sweet to me, but it sweetens up as I wear it on my skin. I think this is one I will eventually get because the more I wore when I was trying to decide if I was going to get it for the sale, I like it. I don't love it, though. But I do like it. So I think this is one I would purchase on sale. I would love to find it at Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, Fragrance Buy, any discount perfume website. I would love to find this because I'm not paying full price for it. But the, when I finished this travel size up, I said, okay, I do. Because for a long time, when I got this, I would wear it, stop. I couldn't decide. But after wearing it, I know I want it in my collection. But like I said, I am not paying full price for this, not this one. So I have three sample fragrances I finished. And the first one is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I just saw I had another one of these, so I decided to go ahead and use it because I have the full bottle now. And yeah, so this is just a sophisticated floral scent to me. That, that's what I get from it. I can't remember notes right now off the top of my head. But I'm sure most people know about Flower Bomb. Okay, this is Angel Nova from uh, Mugler. This is one, I can't smell it right now, but it did remind me of a fragrance. I do have some thoughts on this one, but I'm gonna save those thoughts for another time. This is one that's driving me crazy. This is uh, My Burberry Blush by Burberry. Do you see how much is left in there? And I can't get it. Watch it come out. No, it's not coming out. 
it will not come out. I was using this sample to decide if I wanted to purchase my Burberry blush. And I do. I do want to purchase it, but not yet. It's a couple of fragrances. Well, one, and well, maybe two in particular I'm thinking of that I can wait on this one because they're not exactly the same, but they're in the same realm. So I don't feel like I need to just, unless I found this at a great deal, okay? I'm gonna make that caveat. If I found this at a great deal, I would go ahead and get it now. But so far I haven't. So not in the packaging I want it in. This is a floral, soapy, sophisticated, pretty feminine scent. That, that's what I get from this. And I do really enjoy it. And I will purchase it. I just don't know where. So y'all, those were all of the products I used up for the month of April. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me what products you've used up in the month of April and share your thoughts on any of the products I used up, your opinion on them. Please share this video with all the people. Sorry, y'all, there was a hair stuck to my lip gloss. Please share this video with everyone who loves to use their products up and please turn on your notification bell so you're notified each and every single time I upload a video. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.